Ronnie Spector, the lead singer of the Ronettes, the 1960s vocal trio that gave a passionate, bad girl edge to Puff's girl group sound with its like Be My Baby and Baby, I Love You, died on Wednesday. She was 78. She died after a brief battle with cancer, according to a statement from her family, which gave no further details. With high piled hair, tight outfits and seductive looks, the three young women of the Ronettes, Ronnie, born Veronica Bennett, her sister, Estelle, and their cousin Nedra Talley, transformed the virginal model that had defined female pop groups since the 1940s. We weren't afraid to be hot. That was our gimmick, Ms. Spector wrote in her 1990 memoir, Be My Baby, How I Survived Mascara, Miniskirts, and Madness, or, My Life as a Fabulous Renette. When we saw the Shirelles walk on stage with their white party dresses, she wrote, we went in the opposite direction and squeezed our bodies into the tightest skirts we could find. Then we'd get out on stage and hike them up to show our legs even more. In songs like Be My Baby, a uh, no. Two hit in 1963, they sang with powerful voices of street smart romance, We'll Make Em Turn Their Heads of Replay Suigo, over the swelling wall of sound production of Phil Spector. Be My Baby was a classic of 1960s pop that seemed to reveal both innocence and grit, and it earned lasting armure. It appeared in Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets, the hit 1987 television Moonlighting and the title sequence of Dirty Dancing. The group's look and sound made them a touchstone for women in rock music, from Chrissy Hind of The Pretenders to Amy Winehouse. Keith Richards of The Rolling Stones, in his speech inducting the Ronettes into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007, described hearing the group warming up backstage when they shared touring bills in the 1960s. They could sing all their way right through a wall of sound, he said. They didn't need anything. Later, Ms. Spector detailed the abuse she endured while married to Mr. Spector, 